Hi, I'm Robert Escher at livingpianos.com. Today's viewer question is, do you really need a piano mover? Ah, this is a great question. And the answer, the short answer to this question is, yeah, you really do. But I'm gonna show you some ways to get around it, possibly. Well, it depends, first of all, how big the piano is. If it's a little spinet piano and you have a pickup truck and some strong people and a ramp and you uh, can wrap it in blankets and tie it really well so it can't possibly fall out and it's not a very expensive piano so if the straps you make marks on it you don't really care sure you can go for it but really moving a piano is a very specialized skill i have a, a video on the subject that you can reference to see just how it's done. When you see a grand piano moved, it's really amazing when you see professional movers, they make it look easy because they know how to use leverage properly. There are also tools you need. You need a grand board or uh, even with an upright, you want to put it on a flat board, on a dolly. Uh, now that you can possibly rent for uprights, there are upright dollies that strap around the instruments with handles and you might be able to actually move it, but pianos are extraordinarily heavy. I would not recommend anyone who has ever had any kind of back problems to do any piano moving whatsoever, even a piano from one part of a room to another, because you can definitely do damage if you don't know how to lift properly, even if you have a strong back. You must lift with your knees, never lift with your back. Always lift with your, with your legs, going, keeping your back straight, or you can do damage almost instantly with a piano. Even a spinet weighs several hundred pounds, and you can really torque to something. It's just not worth saving a few hundred bucks uh, you know, to destroy your back or to risk that. Now, so how can you possibly get around it? Well, fortunately, there is a way. If you have a move, particularly a long distance move, you can hire local movers on each end to simply load it onto a U-Haul or into a truck and avoid the expense of the move. That can save you quite a bit of money on a long distance move, hiring movers on both ends. Now, you will need to either rent or borrow or something, a grand board if it's a grand, um, because they're, they're moved on a board, a flat board, the grand pianos, yes, are, are moved on the, on the flat side on end, not the curved side, but the side opposite. And it has to be on a board so the bottom doesn't get scratched up. So my recommendation is to use a mover. If you want to do it yourself with an upright, if you have strong people, a bunch of strong people, a truck with a ramp, you're going to need a ramp or you'll, you'll kill yourself. And a dolly, get the right equipment and you can have a good chance as long as the piano is not very valuable. You have a number of str strong people with no back problems. You can attempt it. For anything more serious than that, at least get movers to load and unload the piano on both ends. Thanks for joining me. Robert Esther here at livingpianos.com.